Every app needs the ability to keep track of the status of a particular record. Let's add the ability to maintain status for each task by adding a string status column to the table. Make sure to save the diagram. Let's refresh the project schema to pick up the new column. Let's include the new status field in the tasks model. Open the tasks model. Check the box next to the status field. And save the model. Let's make some additional configuration to this field. Open the project designer. Switch to the controllers tab. Let's expand the tasks controller and the fields node. Note that the status field has been configured as a simple string. At this time, the user can type in any value to the field. Let's mark the status field as a dropdown and define some static values that the users can select. Double click on the status field. Change the item style to drop down list. save the field. Let's add a few static items. Right click on the field node and press new value text item. The first item will be new. Press new item to create the next item. The second item will be delegated. The third item will be in progress. Cancelled. And completed. Let's hide the status field in the create form. Expand the views node. Expand create form one. Expand the category and double click on the status data field. Enable the checkbox next to the field is hidden. Expand view grid one. Let's position the status field after the date field. Let's set a value for the status field in our insert business rule. Expand the business rules node and double click on the insert business rule. The updated script will automatically set the status to new when a new task is created. If an owner has been specified by the user, then the status will be set to delegated. Let's modify our business rule that handles the complete action. The updated query will make sure that the status field is set to completed when the user completes a task. Let's see our new status field in action. Let's create a new task. Notice that the status is set to new. Let's create a second task and delegate this task to another user. Notice that the status has been marked as delegated. 
we can use the drop-down to change the status of a particular task. We can also push complete on a task. This will mark the task as completed. It would be helpful to visually display the current status of a task. Let's define a status bar. Open the project designer. Double click on the tasks controller. Let's define a status bar. Enter the field name, followed by a colon, and the field value. The line below will define the status bar. The item in the square brackets describes the current state. Each state is separated by a greater than symbol. Every state following the current state will be future states. States that appear before the current state will be shown as past states. Each state in the status bar can be set to any label that is recognizable to the user. Let's complete this status bar mapping. Save the controller and start generation to see the status bar in action. Let's add a new task. Notice that the status bar is visible above the form. It notifies the user that there are two steps remaining in the process. If we change the status to canceled, the user will be notified that something went wrong. The completed task will show that this task has gone through two previous states.